Hola, peoples. Okay, so, you know, um, I wanted to, oh, God, I got to make a U-turn. Uh, anyway, um, anywho, so, I wanted to, dang, I came in on U-turn over here. Darn it. See? Ridiculous. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, some stuff. And basically, my teachers, um, hey, Cody, Cody, you know what? You the MVP, you know what I'm saying? You the truth. You, just, you be, uh, who is chasing you? Nobody chasing me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Nobody chasing me. I know, I'm like, I'm trying to get. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but um, appreciate the 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 uh, the support, Cody. Appreciate it, man. It, it makes it uh, means a lot. But um, I just wanted to come to you guys to to send me a request. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> I don't want to talk about me, but I want to talk about my teacher in school. He was just telling me, uh, well, telling the class how like. Um, just his journey and his his um his walk with Christ and he went through so many you know just different phases in his life he was a he was a pastor he was he started off in the Methodist um denomination and and um it was just so crazy because it's like it was very uh encouraging because um there was this you know during when he was I think he was in Alabama or, or one, Mississippi one of them states okay y'all I'm sorry I'm being a fatty again Hello? I'm at Chick fil A this time, Cody. I know. Hey, Terry! It's my Uncle Terry. Uh, yes, can I please get the um, the kids' meal chicken, uh, the four piece, well done with the uh, high C fruit punch and ketchup, and that's it? I'm sorry? The kids' four, four count nugget? I didn't hear you. The kids. The kids four count nugget, please. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Okay. With a high C fruit punch. We have high C orange. That's fine. Okay. That'll be all. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. Um, but anywho, um, yeah, so, so, he started off in the Methodist denomination and, um, this this woman that he met during his time as a pastor prophesied to him and was like, you know, God is going to bring the nations to you. And he was like, what do you mean you're going to bring the nations to me? You know, so through time and just through living and life and and um, his, one of his uh, friends was like, hey, you know, you should come and uh, teach at uh, Beulah, you know, teach at Beulah uh, University. He's like, no, nah, I don't do that. Then he then he ended up deciding to go ahead and do it, and as he was um, when he finally did his first class, one one I guess one of his first class or just one of his classes, I don't know if it was his first, but one of his classes he was doing roll call or whatever, and he's and he he was he looked at different names of people from different nations, and he was like wow, and then the Holy Spirit said, remember when I told you that I'm bringing the nations to you, and it's like this man, and I don't know how long he he has been at Beulah, um, I don't think it's been that long, um, but he's in his older age, and he says that you know this is something this is you know he knows that he's right where he should be he's he's fulfilling his purpose in God and he said he couldn't be more fulfilled in life you know and and just and just and just happy and I guess you know I wanted to share this with you guys that you know there's times even in the church world and just period in life and just a regular world hold on I'm sorry I'm picking up my food you need yes like any uh, ketchup, please. Thank you. Sorry, you guys. Sorry. 
I'm getting the cheek. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyways, but how y'all doing while I'm like taking my time being a fatty? <laughs> Thanks. Okay. All right. So, okay. So, I guess I want to encourage you guys that, you know, the scripture that comes in my mind is he who begins a good work uh, will finish it. He will finish it, right? And when you belong to God, he's responsible for you. You know, he's responsible and he takes pride in being responsible for you. And he will, I, I believe that he will, you know, make the provisions, even when you don't even know when he's doing it, he'll make the provisions, you know, um, for you to actually, you know, be walking in your purpose. And you don't even know, like, shoot, I just took this gig on a whim and I didn't know that, God, you know, and then you ended up, you end up seeing that, look at God, like, you know, look at, I'm sorry, I'm about to do this, you right here. This is like so illegal, but you know. Okay, y'all don't 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 do what I do, but <laughs> but um but yeah, like you know, it, it just it was very encouraging. It was very um just very like I was like yeah, like our Father in Heaven really cares about us that much that he he will like we don't have to you don't have to worry you don't have to like have anxiety you don't have to feel like oh, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing and, and I'm saying this because. I'm preaching to myself. Like I'm always thinking like, God, am I in your will? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I, am I talking to this person or, you know, like blah, 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 blah. And it's like, I remember I got this, this, um, advice from, Hey Ben, I remember I got this advice from, um, a family member, you know, she's a family friend and she was like, Nina, just keep on living, just keep on living. And I, that can't be more you know, close to the truth that, you know, just keep on living, live your life, you know, you know, and, and, and you'll see that God has really, <laughs> God has really like led you into your calling and into what he's called you to do, you know, um, and just be, have a willing heart to serve. I think, I think if you have a willing heart to serve, I think you'll, if you'll, you will always be walk, you'll be always, you know, going in the direction that God has called you to go into because you have a heart to serve. You have a, you know, you have a heart like God, God loves to serve his people, you know? So, um, that's all I got today. And I just hope that that encouraged somebody that, you know, if you, uh, just stay encouraged that man if you if you keep following God and you keep you know walking or you know pursuing him you're going to you're going to get where he wants you to go so I love you and um, talk to you guys later